Hi! With this video, what we're going to do is just uh, load really simple data into R. Uh, when people first start out with um, R, I mean, everything's pretty easy with it, but very often just getting started, just doing something as simple as loading data is very painful and frustrating and difficult. So I'm going to walk you through how to, a very simple way to get it loaded and into your data so you can then move on to all your stats and your um, econometrics. Uh, so let's get started. First thing we need is the data. So here's the course website. Here's a couple data choices. So I'm going to just download this National Health Interview Survey from 2000. It's um, a CSV, so that's a comma separated variable file. And I'm just going to download it into a folder that I had prepared earlier called temp. So downloaded the file. Let's go over to temp. Hey, there's the file. So how do we get into R? Well, let me load up R. Load it up. Here's a little spell. Here's a little message. So how we load it is uh, the quick and kind of easy, dirty way to do it is to just take the file uh, in our folder, go over to the script window, drop it in there, and then this gives us our file path. Don't mind the error message. All we're interested in is little file path. So we take the file path, copy it, and now we're going to do just a little bit of uh, code. We're going to do an R function. So I'm going to create an R object. I'm just going to call it NHIS for lack of anything else. The, that sign basically means equals, and then read table. Read table is a function in R that is literally reading a table, loading data. And then inside these parentheses, we need to put some instructions. The first thing is the file path. That's the thing I just copied. So I'm pasting it now. You can see it's NHIS 2007 data.csv, exactly what's right here, and exactly what I just pulled off off the website. So comma, and now we need this thing header equals T or true. So what does header equal T or true mean? Well, if, on the, if you load this up into Excel, you'll notice there's a header along the top. Second. So here's the header. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine variables, and they're, they're labeled with this header. So header equals T is saying that there's a header. It contains information. It contains names of your variables. And then the last thing we need is sep, which stands for separated, equals comma. In this case, it's a comma because we're dealing with a comma separated variable file. So if you were to open this little file in something like a notepad, which is just, just pure text, you'll actually see that all of these little variables are separated by these little commas right here. So that is why we need the sep equals comma in between the quotation marks. So by pressing enter, it should not give me an error. Awesome, no error. Okay, so I think I've loaded data in that I've done this little bit of code here, and when I press enter, I didn't get any error message. But how do I know what the data looks like? How do I know it's loaded correctly? Well, how you know is uh, I usually use these three simple uh, functions, these three simple commands. So str stands for structure, and then you have to type in what the name of the object you came up with, so nhis. Cool, and you get a bit of information about the data object. So you can see there's 4,785 observations with nine variables. So looking at the little Excel spreadsheet, you can see we got the nine variables and then how many observations. There's 4,785 observations, um, this, this cell here not including the header. You could also do summary, NHIS. So this gives a summary of each variable within that data object we had. So sleep. I think this is uh, information about people's sleeping habits and hours of sleep. So you can see the typical range ranges from three hours of sleep all the way up to a max of 99 hours of sleep, which is pretty crazy. The mean, though, is about 9.5. And then the medium, most people are right there at uh, seven hours of sleep. Uh, similar info for education, height, weight, etc., all that sort of thing. 
final one I like to do, I rarely do, but I sometimes look at it, is fix and then NHIS, the name of the data object. What this does is it opens up in R, kind of like an Excel spreadsheet looking thing. You got all the variables there. You could rename the variable by clicking on it. So edu, see? And then uh, you have all the observations going down listed there. So if you remember, there were 4,785 observations. And look, there's 4,785. And then let's say we wanted to, for some reason, edit something. So I wanted to edit this person's education. You could edit it really easily. So I'll edit it to 12. Cool. So everything looks good. So finally, what I want to go over is uh, what if it's not a CSV file? What if it's not a comma-separated file that's easy to load, that loads the way I just showed you? Um, so what we do is I've prepared these two other files that contain the same data, but they are kind of set up differently. So here's the original one we downloaded, and I'll open up in a notepad. You can see every little observation, every little thing here is separated by a comma where these other files which contain the same info this is a space separated one you can see everything is separated by a bunch of little spaces here and then this is going to be a tab separated or delineated so open a notepad and you can see same info it's just separated by a tab for some reason I mean just just the way we get data it kind of comes in different forms so you need to be prepared for each of these different types so we've already gone over when it's comma separated so you could have done this read table thing or you could have uh, taken out that sep equals comma and done C S V loads it just fine so that's this is for uh, comma separated variable. Let's do the space separated. So what you do is I'm gonna call this just data one this time. So it's equal to read table and then the file path is actually let me get the file path first. So the file path is this guy. So I'm putting in the file path with those quotation marks around it. So quotation there, quotation there. Uh, there is a header. So header equals true. And then what is it separated by? So this is a space separated. So all you do is just two quotation marks with nothing between it. So this should work. This should not give me an error message. Yes. So let's see if it matches the data above. So structure data one, I call this data one. Yep, so you can see this was the original one we loaded. This is the one we just loaded with a different type of file type. Loaded identically, same info, same summary statistics, same everything. Now let's do the tab separated. So first we need the file path. So it's a text file now. When you load a tab separated, it's very similar to the other ones we did. You just need this backslash T. Maybe that's a forward slash. Whatever that symbol is right there. And then we need a different file path. And I'm going to call it data2 just to separate it. So data2 is equal to read table, our function. This is our file path to the tab separated text file here. Header equals true again, and then it's separated by this little symbol right here, means separated by a tab. So when I press enter, it should not give me an error. Yeah. And then let's just double check that it loads it right. Yep, same deal. 4,785 observations with nine variables. All the jazz is the same. Good work.